Well, good morning. I'm finally getting around to making a video I've had plans to make for a while. Now, because I'm slow about it, someone else kind of beat me to this. If you guys have not seen Tim Connor's channel, you should go watch him. He's got some good stuff. So, as a follow-up to his video, we're doing sodas. So I've got a couple cases of soda. We are gonna try to blow them up. The difference is, we're using that. I went over a decade without shooting my bow. So when I came back to archery, naturally I turned to YouTube to teach me a few things. These days I try to get out and shoot as much as possible, and I figure I might as well turn on my camera while I'm there. Maybe while I'm tinkering with stuff, someone else will pick up something that'll help them out. Alright, I think Tim said his arrows were like 450 or know, a little over 400. So we're going to run these ones. This is sitting at 447. We're going to basically call it 450. This one's missing a fletch. So we're also going to run one of my single bevel cutthroats through that. You can see that's right there at four, or sorry, 553. So we're just gonna call it 550, and we're gonna see if that has any difference when it comes to those cans. All right, here's the setup. We're gonna have one back here, that's where this camera's gonna go. I'm not shooting the matrix today, I'm gonna sit on that. Get these lined up. Got this camera looking from the side, that camera's gonna be looking at it from this angle. Had to go round up all our old, old iPhones, so I had enough for this. And we're going to see how this works out. So when I went and bought sodas, everything was the same price. So I bought a couple Dr. Peppers, because I may have a Dr. Pepper problem. So if there's any left, we're going to save those. So we're going to probably start with these. Let's get them lined up. Now, when Tim did this with his 70 pound bow and 430 or 340 grain arrows, he got all the way through 12 cans, except the arrow stuck in the very last can. So I'm gonna be shooting my Mission MXR, which is not a fast bow. It is turned down, it's only uh, 60 pounds now but I am shooting 550 grain arrows. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. We're about to find out. So let's shoot the first round and see what happens. All right, here we go. First arrow is gonna be the field point. 12 cans. I'm like two yards away. We'll see what happens here. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Let's go have a look. I don't know if we got through all of these. They hit them all. That one's dead, dead, dead. These are black cherries. That smells really nice up here, out here all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. It blew through all 12 of those and stuck in the target. Nice. Nice. I think we need to try it with the broadhead now and see if it makes any difference. All right, we're now gonna try it with my single bevel cutthroat and just see if it makes a difference. Ha, we gotta go turn all the other cameras back on. That would have been very disappointing. All right, here we go. Single bevel broadhead, 12 cans. 
see if it makes a difference. I'm wondering if these are going to veer off, like as it starts hitting and trying to twist, if it'll actually steer the arrow out of the line. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Oh yeah, it got me. Go turn these ones off real quick. It did not get through the last one though with the broadhead on it. but it carried it from the table clear over to this one. All right, just some initial observations. A lot of the uh, field point ones, the entry was not that big, like there's a good example, but the backs blew out. Something like that one, that one kind of blew up a little bit. This one, the entry point blew up. But for the most part, it's the back side of these that kind of, almost all of these, blew the back side of the can out. In contrast, the, the uh, single bevel broadhead, the entries on every single can are wide open. It's the backs that are really small. You still kind of see that single bevel S shape even in the can as it comes through them. I haven't watched the video yet, but that, I'm guessing, looks super fun. Now this one here, we didn't quite get through. Looks like it got hung up on the fletches in there. It tried, but not quite. So I guess the question is now, when Tim shot his field point, he went through 11 cans and got stuck in the 12th. When I shot my field point, I went all the way through and still had enough energy it went and hit the hit the target so maybe i'll just line up as many as i can on the table and see how many we go through all right tim got through 12 cans with a field point there's 13 14. you can do 14 should i go 15. i don't know my arrow carried enough it went through and still stuck in the target I like Dr. Pepper. How about we do two more and I still get Dr. Pepper to drink and still prove heavy arrows are better? I think that's what we're going to do. I have watched a couple of these clips off the uh, other cameras. <laughs> this is going to look really good. This is going to be really fun. So last one, I'm going to do 15 cans or sorry, 12, 13, 14 cans and see if my heavier arrow, lighter poundage, we get through 14 cans. All right, last one. We're trying 14 cans with a field point. See if I can get through more. That one got me. <laughs> Let's go see what we got here. All right, I don't quite know how to take this or read this because there was 14 cans. It, it got through them all, the point did, but it got stuck in can number 11. 
So I don't know if having those two extra cans stopped it from going, because I've already proved it'll go through 12. But these are also a lot more carbonated. I'm guessing these probably had a little bit bigger <laughs> explosion than the other ones. Because the cans themselves are opened up a lot more than uh, the first round. Either way, this was a lot of fun. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. And now i got to clean this mess up before my wife sees it. So thanks for watching. I've got a few other videos. Go check them out. And we'll talk to you later.